Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kid Rodan. So I figured I would talk about yet again another video for comic books and stuff. For anyone that's a fan of comic books, of you know, this genre of film, well, you can't say I didn't bring up quite a bit of these types of videos. So there you go. Even though I was never a huge fan of this genre, but if it's a good movie, it's a good movie regardless. But anyway, I just want to bring up a film titled, I'll be speaking about The Dark Knight Rises. Yes, I know, I know, I know, before anyone says anything, didn't I already talked about this movie? Shut the hell up! <laughs> so, alright, for this time around, it's gonna be focusing on somebody talking about the movie, to be more exact. And that individual is David over here. David is supposed to be this political commentary individual, I guess you can say. So, the thing is that he's definitely this, the founder of this thing, of course, he would do. And also, the editor-in-chief of the of this thing he would do, which is, of course, this reader support of his gative news outlet focus on exposing the negative influence of the corporate corruption on American society. I'm like, I'm just over here thinking, oh, Christ, you're one of these people. And not surprisingly, of course, he was definitely a, a speechwriter uh, and, of course, senior advisor for the Bernie Sanders 2020 Twitter campaign. I personally don't like Bernie Sanders due to my own reasons, of course. And but anyway, that aside, I want I wouldn't talk about Bernie Sanders, but that's not what this video is about, really. So I'm not. I really don't want to focus on too that too much. Which yes, does have to do with politics, of course. For the time being, my reasons are my own. I'm and I'll leave it at that. If I'm going to bring it up in a separate video, then I might do it if I feel like it. I'm just putting that into a disclaimer. That's it. Okay, and that's all I'm saying. I'm just. Going to point that out, all right? And for clarification, no, this is not me confirming that I'm a, I'm a Republican, all right? Just throwing it out there um, because I'm not, okay? Just throwing it out there. I just want to talk about Dave, David over here. That's it. What he said about the movie. That's what this video is about, okay? What he said about the movie. I'm just going to give you a bit of background on this individual for those who don't know who this person is. That is it. But anyway, yeah, in. 2022, David already did receive the Academy Award for the nomination of his screen, original screenplay for Come Up With a Story for Netflix, Don't Look Up, along with the co-writer and co-director of somebody else named, named Adam. But anyway, moreover, let's just go back to the what he had stated about The Dark Knight Rises. You know, the one with Bane and all that jazz? Like he had his own militia or whatever. So, okay, David over here basically just goes down to the nitty-gritty here. He compared the Dark Knight Rises and the video game Call of Duty to the 1980s popular culture kind of a thing, reflecting on the political period at the time. And I can kind of see what he's talking about because the, the people who were, of course, making the movie have People have stated that the film, The Dark Knight Rises, was inspired by the French Revolution, kind of a thing. So some people have said that there might have been some elements of that when it comes to the, the upper class and the higher class, you know, the rich and the wealthy, which, yes, there was a difference. And, of course, the middle class and lower had to pretty much collide where a lot of people would just find each other because of the wealth. Which, yes, you can actually see that in the movie, of course, at least to some extent, of course. Moreover, of course, Adam ha wants to talk about this kind of thing because he seems to have a grudge against Melody Nails and whatnot. He, he has, seems to have, like, a hate border towards the whole idea that you can't, you're not allowed to have a lot of money, which is which seems kind of odd, a kind of productive... It just seems like a kind of productive point of view, considering the fact that he's pretty well off himself. And that just sounds like communism, if you ask me. But anyway, moreover, what he meant about the whole bit where reflecting on the political period of the time, accusing the producers 
of the Dark Knight Rises of pretty much trying to say something in regards of a conservative agenda, as he quoted, just as so many 1980s pop culture products reflect on the spirit of the Rogan Revolution conservative backlash, we are now seeing the two blockbuster game change shifting products not so subtly reflect on the Tea Party's backlash. And the whole, you know, referring to the whole thing with the powerful Wall Street genre kind of a thing when it comes to the zeitgeist. And somehow this movie is promoting this kind of thing, according to this guy. But okay, I don't see that really. Yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know where he's getting all this from exactly. Like the people who made this film had some kind of agenda. And I'm trying to use the past events when it comes to Reagan or whoever else was in office at the time as supposed of evidence. They were acting like he did when he received some backlash on what the political issue was at the time. And that somehow is a reflection on this. I mean, I mean, yes, it's true that even, even in video games, cinema can have the same kind of effect where people's taste in movies and videos can change over the years. That is true. What is popular during the 1960s is not going to be the same thing as the 1970s or 1980s, 1990s, so on and so forth. And what was really popular during the early 2000s is not going to be the same thing as the, of course, the early 2000s or the 2010s and upward. And what's popular now in the 2020s is not going to be as popular like it was during the 1940s. Of course, the taste does change. Obviously, this could be movies or video games. That is true. But that doesn't mean David over here has a point because I, it doesn't make any sense. And, and okay, I still don't understand. What, like, what's the point of this, really? Also, don't take this the wrong way, either. Even if the taste of cinema and video games, even if none of this ever changed, uh, he still doesn't have a point. Like, at all. He still doesn't have a point whatsoever. Even this individual, this comic book writer, even he had to sh shine his own opinion. Yes, I'm just calling it an opinion. Even if he's well known, I'm still going to dismiss what he said because it's nonsensical. Shuck over here has stated that the people who made this film had cast Bane, the actor who played Bane, for a political reason. So he's also accusing them for having some kind of political biased. Catherine over here, she's supposed to be the central left British publication uh, of the the Guardian has stated that the film The Dark Knight Rises is this kind of pro-capitalist vision that's radically conservative. I mean, I don't see how, but okay. It just seems kind of odd to make this statement because of the fact you don't necessarily have to be a conservative to be a capitalist because these two things are not mutually exclusive like at all but then again of course since Batman himself is supposed to be like this Vigilante type character so that comes into play somewhere that advances a serious a proposal that the wish fulfillment of the wealthy is to be of course championed if they say they want to do good like whatever that means like, okay. Then there's also this liberal commentator named Jonathan. He quoted that in the New York Times that what passes for a right-wing movie these days is The Dark Knight Rises, which I disagree with. But, okay, he just goes on to submit that rather the, the premise is that he goes to the, the rich maybe actually killing them and taking all their stuff may be excessive. Like, like, what are you talking about exactly? What does that, again, what does that even mean? So, you tell me that the rich are attempting to kill all the poor folks and just killing them? Like, taking their stuff or whatever? Like, there's a bunch of psychopaths? That depends on the individual, not the rich as a whole. I always kind of thought it was weird, this kind of perspective, because poor people can be crazy as well. Not just the poor or the wealthy. Just because they have this kind of stuff does not automatically mean that they're automatically bad just because they have a lot of money. And they want to that notion. 
I mean, granted, being poor doesn't make you bad either, but I'm just putting it out there. It just doesn't make any sense is what I'm getting at. And then another questionable opinion is this individual, Brian, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Yeah, he stated that Bane is the ultimate occupier, whatever that means, and reported that Kristen Bell as Batman was amazing and the script itself had oversaw the occupy movement so again whatever that means i guess so okay that is something i suppose i i, I reckon all right then folks so i guess that'll be it for now anyway i just wanted to do something fairly quick here and of course he has some new comic books you know batman and all that jazz so anyway and just a side note here, I don't mind if something's political or not. I'm not suggesting that these movies were intended to be political or not. It just depends on execution, of course. Anyway, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. See ya.